Ooh. Hua Chiang Bay. You see, I'm on a quest to find some cheap ass Hua Chiang Bay speaker. That doesn't sound too bad. And I found this for $20. See, $20 is a good seven, eight years ago when I was in middle school. All you get is something like a King One or the cheapest of the cheap DOS stuff you could get on, you know, Amazon and all that kind of crap. And honestly, those suck. It's like six watts RMS with two dinky five watt units. That's like 45 millimeters in there. Underpowered, no DSP included, nothing like that. You know, it's got the cheapest amplifier you could possibly find on, I don't know, Alibaba or somewhere. There's or bulk order and put in the put in the circuit board and sun. And it's always got that annoying Bluetooth lady yelling at you. He that it sounds like this. The Bluetooth device is really too pale. Music play motor. The radio motor, aux. Yeah, sounds like that. Anyway, fast forward a good seven, eight years. For twenty dollars, you get this. Not only is not a dinky six watt speaker, it's actually sixteen watts. You get ten extra watts. It's also got fancy ass RGB lights that we all, we gamers all love, and it's also got DSP built into it. You'll see once I take it apart. You're going to see that the uh, Bluetooth chip is actually a system chip. It's none of those cheap-ass Chinese Bluetooth chips that's got no any sort of audio algorithms. Pretty cool. Anyways, I thought it was a quick sound check and compare it against the new Hua Changbei Egg Roll Speaker Mini. As I'm going to call I'm going to call that for now. I'll do a review on this thing. It's pretty decent. And this junk-ass Treb Lab speaker. This thing is a piece of junk. But we'll still compare it. Just see. That thing's 85 bucks. This thing's 20 bucks. You'll see the difference. Anyways, let's get to the sound check first. We're going to first compare it against the Egg Roll, Egg Roll Mini speaker. Okay. Wrong speaker. Alright, this part I'll be turning them up, both speakers up to maximum. Sorry, I'm from the sound dynamics. Next up, it's going up against the treble lab. Also, starting at 50% volume, we're going to start the sound dynamics first. He 
Alright, now we're going to be turning them all up to maximum volume, starting from the sound dynamics. Alright, there you have it. So, time for our next segment, Bass Test. This is a new segment where I test the bass capacity of these speakers. I just crank them all the way up and play some Chinese gangster raps through them. We'll see how bassy it gets. Uh, unfortunately for this speaker, I can't pop the grill off without damaging it, which so I won't. But I will take it apart and bass test it freer. So, that'll make up for it. Let's get to it. All right, well, that was Gangsta. Now, since I've uh, also taken it apart, let's do a quick teardown. Let's see what's, what we got inside. Let me remove the speaker wires first. First up, we got the drivers. Um, pretty decent. Uh, this is, I, I'd say it's a one and a half inch driver. These are four ohm unit PS2. Looks like PSS drivers. Wow, I'm very surprised by something twenty dollars. They would actually use something by PSS. They are some of the better manufacturers of speakers out there. You know, a lot of car audio came from their factory. It was really decent. Wow. Um, you can see under the speakers, here's some LED, that's the RGB LED that's always shining on this speakers, aluminum cone, aluminum cone speakers, not something you'd see in your King One crap, or DOS junk. Alright, here you have the circuit board, looking at the amplifier board, I don't know if we can see that, okay, it's a CS83711E, let's look that up, let's see how many watts is. Ooh, wow, this is very interesting, it's 16 watts per channel, says on AliExpress, that's... Pretty powerful if you ask me. Now let's look at this. This is our Bluetooth chip. 
it is using these wires are in the way god damn it an ats 2853 that's your typical uh, actions chip on board thing like uh, i'm sorry a system on chip thing it's got like dsp bluetooth and everything i could show it to you the, the i think the x sobo also uses one of these i oh, know it's a 2819 so yeah, but you know, it's got all the, the stuff built into it. Pretty decent. Yeah, this is a module itself. I believe this is from, this is probably from Alibaba. All right, let's zoom out a little bit. We'll see the entire circuit board. As you can see around it is the RGB LEDs and the buttons on top and all, you know. Uh, there should be an RGB controller. I'm believing this is the RGB control. Um, it's not, there's nothing on it. So it's probably a knockoff of some chip. Um, that would be my guess. That would probably be power management to charge the battery. It probably just sends an 8-volt signal into it and probably does detect. Um, yep, yeah, this is the charging circuit. So it detects if it's fully charged yet or not. Um, let's uh, take this board out and we're going to see the batteries. Just to show you, here's the back side of the board. Not much, just test pins and all probably for programming the bluetooth module or something but i i'm pretty sure the module is probably pre-programmed here's your battery uh 7.4 volts 2500 milliamp hours so yeah it's a twin 18650 thing nothing really special you go you could also see the two passive radiators back here all right well that's all so yeah hey it's pretty good it's pretty good but, um, you know, it's got some issues also. I'm just going to touch touch on about that at the end of the video and, uh, you know, end this video. First up. That is extremely loud. It's like maximum volume, literally. I am deaf by hearing that shit. Holy crap. <laughs> And it's also low quality. It's like a low quality WAV file. And also, you see here, this is the ports, right? These are not sealed. So you cannot have them open or not closed properly when you're um, using this near any, like in your shower or anywhere near a water source. It's going to go in there and fuck up the circuit inside. Also, precisely because they aren't sealed, you better not leave this open when playing. Otherwise, it'll be very distorted. Air leaks coming out from that, those places. Anyways, yeah. Decent build quality for twenty dollars. You really can't get anything with better build quality. I'm not gonna lie. Here's the tag. You can look at the FCC ID here, um, and uh, you know, see their teardown of the speaker. I think there is one. And um, well, that's that. Would I say this is a go or no? This is definitely a go. No shit. Up for under thirty dollars. This is currently the champion. Anything under thirty dollars, you're gonna start be look start to look 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 for something that could outperform this under $30 because so far I don't think there's anyone I've been eyeing a Lenru speaker it seems to have a DSP it's also like I think $18 or something we'll see if it does better it might it might not we'll see about it there you have it if you want something cheap a AF below 30 bucks below 20 bucks the sound dynamics is the one to go go for it it's good stuff